So one of the best things that I did for my single life and also for my mental health is actually deciding to stay single for the next two years. And I know that doesn't really sound like a big deal, but I'm someone that can be swayed pretty easily. Especially if you use emotions and stuff, I'm a I'm softie. And whenever I tell this to a guy that I'm on a date with, he gets really offended. And the question that I always get is, what if you meet your soulmate, you know, in these two years? And my response to that is always, if he is my soulmate, he would inspire a change in me to want a relationship and to want something more. And most importantly, if he is my soulmate, he would wait. Every single time I say this, the next question is, isn't that a bit unrealistic? Actually, no. I just need one amazing 10 on 10 guy who would make me want to change my mindset. And if a guy is not willing to do those things for me, why would I want to be in a relationship with him? If he can't commit to maybe waiting for me for two years, why would he want to commit to me for the rest of his life? And this mindset really helps in weeding out all the losers right from the start. Because when I tell a guy that, oh, you actually have to be the best guy in the world for me to give you a shot, most of the time they're not really up to the challenge or they don't think I'm worth their time, which is fair because then you're not worth my time. I think I'm amazing at building a successful single life. So if you're going to come into this energy and into this space of mine, you have to be there. Once you get f***ed over a couple of times, you kind of learn a lesson.